everyone. My name is Cassie Shum, and I am the head of cloud partnerships for North America at ThoughtWorks. So let's get started with event storming in itself. So this is an actual act of deliberate collective learning. So if you look in these photos, um, it really has both the business and the technical stakeholder in a massive room uh, looking and crowding around a whole wall of stickies. And the goal of this is to build a model of the system together. Really, it is about that shared understanding and avoiding miscommunication or misunderstanding of what a domain actually is. So there are five different phases to event storming. So let's start with the first one. The first one is really about discovering domain events. So everyone in the room should be recalling the significant events that have happened in the system. And so when we talk about an event, what is an event? An event is a simple fact that happens in our process. These are normally on orange sticky notes uh, and all of it should be in a past tense verbiage. And this should all be relevant for the domain experts in the room. So everyone picks up an orange sticky and start writing the events. The second phase is really about enforcing a timeline. So as you're writing these events, this is drawn on a massive board across a huge timeline. And so you can actually move the events before or after each of the events to so focus on more of the bigger picture. Once that timeline is enforced, you're gonna to start to see a flow uh, emerge from these particular events. The third phase is really about walking through the big picture. So now let's discuss, let's discuss between everybody the different events. Um, and, and the first thing to do is capture what we call hotspots. What are hotspots? So hotspots are a point of contention in the organization and around domains. This is when folks in the room start talking about what they believe a particular action should be from a, a user or a use case. Uh, but if there is some discussion around it, that means that contention there is something that is now becoming unlocked, which is actually quite important during an event storming session. This will enable uh, both the business and tech to get on the same page and also to avoid all this miscommunication that could happen in the future that could lead to very, very expensive uh, misaligned software. These discussions are also quite important to really understand the entire picture. So for the fourth phase, uh, it is about completing the overall picture. So the completing the picture means including different actors, motivations, and dependencies. Understand that the people and purpose behind the different domain events. So this is about mapping the relationships between the domain and the external dependencies. And for the final phase, observing the entire outcome. So now we have an end-to-end -end model of the system built together and nothing relevant will be out of the picture. This is something that needs to be captured, documented, digitized, and actually put in a central local uh, central repository for everyone to be able to access. So in case anybody is either onboarding or there's a point of confusion, you're able to go back to the system and understand how the end-to-end -end flows. So as a wrap up, uh, event storming is a really, really good technique to use that we use all the time in our workshops. It's pretty applicable to enterprise modernization because as you heard me say before, it really combines the business and the technology understanding of the domains that really drive out success for the future.